Okay, guys, it is time to spin. Um, with the PR24, there is really no direct effective way to deliver a single hit that goes and comes back unless we are performing um, a power spin, which is supported by that second hand. If I try to spin just with the one hand, the delivery um, is very, very weak. So generally when I'm using it one-handed, it is entirely for fluid spins. Now this is the, the, the biggest distinction, the biggest point of confusion. When I deliver a power spin, we saw that the support hand comes up on the short handle, short portion, and I swing forward like this, turning the pommel of my short handle outside. When I perform a single fluid spin, it is the opposite. My pommel stays up to the sky. But what's absolutely imperative is that as I spin, I arrive and I impact my target with my baton fully in line with my arm, meaning it will be like this, and then we'll pass through. It will hit, and then we'll pass through. This is the biggest problem area with this strike, and people will generally hit with the baton a little bit crooked like this, and again, rob themselves of their power. They've in effect done a rotational slap with the stick. What I need to do is verify that that stick is as extended and as in line with my forearm as possible as I perform the strike. Oftentimes, the resistance of the target is going to make the baton do different things. It's not always going to be a nice clean pass through to the far side. So if it does happen that you have that kind of a dysfunction, it's all right that the baton can just be spun back into place. But I want to really swing it through with as much hip as I can. To this end, one of the greatest attribute cultivation drills is to learn to choke and stop the stick when it's in line with the forearm. This will reinforce that I first and foremost understand what the alignment feels like, where I want to hit. It'll help me gauge my distance to learn where the strike works best. It will also help me understand how to carry that baton back through into a tuck position. This is super important because again, Everybody makes mistakes, everybody trips. The more stress there is, the more likelihood there is that the baton will malfunction on a spin and need to return. So I can either bring it over with the spin, I can assist it with my second hand, it's really up to me. I usually prioritize the primary strike, the primary forward spin as my power delivery strike, and the return simply as a return to form at the beginning. Once officers show competence with that basic power delivery, then we can look at reversing it and using the the hips that have now been torqued to open it back. Delivering that hip over. Hand going from one side of the body to the other, from one side to the other the support hand offering a clean chamber and path of non-resistance and my grip traveling from a low pinky and ring finger concentration to a high index and middle finger ring around the retention knot, around that, that mushroom. At any point when I come back, if I'm not able to just creep my grip down, I can either use my support hand or even better, after my swing and I take it back, simply use my hip to chamber it back into a tight tuck position.